Hi there, I just wanted to uh, show you a bit of Python code block, how to how to actually get started with that. I've done previous videos, you know, with ArcGIS Pro and using Calculate Field and etc. And I'm going to use Calculate Field in, in here as well, the little abacus icon. But I'm, uh, the, the idea is just, just to show you how to get started with Python and, and the sort of bit, 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 uh, bit of what's happening in the background, that, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I just want to calculate the distance between the center of Leicester and each one of these pub sort of points on the map. So I can sort of list them in order of distance and stuff. It's, yes, there, there are there are tools to do that within, um, built within uh, QGIS, of course there are. Um, I'm just doing this just to demonstrate passing of parameters and um, you know what happens with the Python, where's it stored and that sort of thing. Um, that's, that's what I'm demonstrating here. I appreciate there, there are other ways to, to do a sort of calculate distance. Um, okay, let's get get cracking. I've got a field here called Python result. It's currently empty. I've got Leicester Center X and Y. So I've got, um, and it's all the same, of course, because it's literally just the center of Leicester, right? Bang in the center there. Um, and um, and I've got the X and Y coordinate in the same system, as you can see, British National Grid, um, and uh, quite a few decimal places actually in that. And um, so in the Python, I'll, I'll I'll floor off all, all those decimal places um, in, the, in the meters result, and um, so we'll we'll be taking each one of those and measuring the distance and storing that in Python results in meters. So go to the abacus. So I press field calculator, and you get what you expect here to build your expression, etc., and uh, get, go through all these functions, etc. But but I want to create my own one, a Python one. So I get a function editor. There's a default one that just really just clarifies um, how you uh, put together your Python. Because if you want to make it appear in the expressions list, you add it as a sort of custom um, function, and you need this little lot at the top here to get cracking. So we'll do add and we'll call it calc um, oh, calc dist, so calc distance, uh, press OK. And that's actually a file. And it's a file on your um, system. And so it'd be called calc .py. Uh Now we can see that it's got the top um, sort of template definition up there. And if we press save and load functions, and go to expression, you'll now see custom and my sum. Because if you look at calc this, my sum, uh, all this is, is basically just a copy of the default template. You see, my sum is a default um, template. That's why that's appeared as my sum. What, I, what I'm actually going to do is just copy and paste the, um, the def because I've already um, done it. So I've just copied and pasted my actual uh, definition, uh, and you can see what this is going to do. Because in in here I've got less set uh, uh, center x and y British national grid coordinates and x and y coordinate uh, British national grid coordinates. A lot more decimal places in there. Um, we'll and we won't have so many decimal places in our um, meter distance calculation over here because I'm going to floor it uh, Python floor. Um, but um, so we're going to get the distance from each one of these to that same city center coordinate calculate distance. So you can see here, what I'm going to do is pass um, the uh, I can do it, it, it sort of lesser city, city center x and y first or, or, or whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'll, I'll pass the uh, coordinates for a city and then uh, the coordinates from x and y cord um, from there. So it'll be from each one. Hence the calculation. Do a bit of maths down there to um, get the difference between Eastings and Northings and calculate the distance. Um, I've got a little note in there. I, I floor it, otherwise, lots of decimal places. So um, distance is math.floor. And that, that's a key thing, actually, that says math. So I need to import math as well. So once I've done that, press save and load functions. It's, it's important to do that press that button otherwise you won't get this sort of updated so now you can see calc disk and when I click on calc disk it says calculate the distance between Leicester Center and each of the pubs example usage calc disk and then whatever returns distance in meters if you go back to the function editor you can see this block here which is in this yellowy orangey color whatever it is um, 
it has these sort of three um, double quotes as sort of end start and end tags and in there is your um, little help text which is in a, um, an HTML type format so you can put in there a bit of help for the user so when you when you're clicking that that's that's how you get that so that's the sort of default thing and then on all these things you'll see this sort of thing and, and the style and format um, and, and, and it, you, you keep to that sort of standard format obviously so that's what calc disk does um, and actually um, because of that example I could literally just take all that and copy it but if I double click on calc disk you can see and put and then it, it sort of wonders okay what what do you want to do well I could just copy and paste what well, I just take him from the help because it's exactly what I want or calc disk and then I could type Lester you see how so I, I start typing and it offers me what I want to choose from so a couple of options there so I do that um, but you see OK is greyed out because I'm not saying where the result goes. So I want to update an existing field and I want to update it into Python result. Um, rather than I could create a new field, but um, this is really just about the Python side rather than the field calculator. So you can see how this all, so, so as long as you just got this block at the top, I, I, I've imported math there because of because um, I use it in uh, um, a couple of times. So, uh, but apart from that, you, you, you need this function declaration there and these two imports, and that will make sure that it appears in um, this list in the custom um, part of the GUI. Uh, and don't forget to use save and load functions. You know, you must, if you, if you don't click on that, it doesn't sort of re refresh if you see, you know, do an F5. So I've done that, let's press OK. And there you go. Um, they're all rounded off because I use floor and, um, and I can um, let's say see which is the closest. It's that one, and it's uh, well there it is highlighted in um, that, that that one there, which is the 33 Kank Street, um, and that's that's actually in the name of the pub. So that's that's how the the Python works. Uh, it's um, and it automatically puts it into edit mode. One one thing about this is of course. Well, I said in, when you when you click on the abacus and go to function editor and look at calc disk, calc disk is the name of a file. Um, that is an, it, so there's a calc disk.py stored on your system somewhere, whereas calc disk there is obviously the name of the function you call. So the so where is calc disk.py? Well, it stores it in your um, updater roaming uh, QGIS if you've taken the default um, install QGIS QGIS three profiles. And I've just got a default and Python profile there um, in expression expressions folder and you'll see there it is calcdisk.py default is the um, sort of basic one so if I just click on default py it should kick off so it kick, kicks off idle and there it is there's that function if I double click on calcdisk.py um, yeah okay um, just a little warning there um, and um, and there's my function from QGIS. So it does store specifically a PY file on your disk in that folder. So you can just put stuff in that folder. So if you put files in that folder and then did a save and load functions, it, they would then appear under custom and they would appear in, in here. And that's how you would sort of bring in um, a um, an, an, another function uh, yes when you do have an expression uh, you can um, save these and import and export because these user expressions they could get fairly complex in here um, so you can but that's a standard um, field calculator sort of option anyway I hope I've uh, sort of cleared anything up regarding Python and functions in QGIS um, where they're stored and stuff and uh, yeah I hope you find that useful thank you